So I'm just looking at Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, verse 1, it says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when uh, Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swollen clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came unto them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swollen clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace good, will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even on to Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. Amen. So, so this is this is an epic event, an amazing event, and um, the reason why I know it's amazing is because a lot of times today we have content that we call that we call viral content. So if you go on YouTube, or you go on Facebook, or you go on different social media platforms. There are certain um, stories or there are certain events that you classify to be a viral content. Some of them people are aware of. Um, others, you know, you may not be aware of. So, for example, um, I can't remember this one. I, I can't remember this one because this one was a big one in 2019. Um, oh, man, I can't remember it. But there are some I can remember, so I'll give you the ones that I can remember. Um, there's one little boy who is calling his, his mom Linda and telling her what she should be doing, and that's like a viral content, you know? Um, there are other viral content where, where it might be a scenario or a situation or something that's happening, and people will spread that news all around to each other. Um, when you come to more serious issues, like on September the 11th, when the World Trade Center was exploded and fell down, that was very viral content. Within 24 hours, almost everyone um, that I knew heard about it. Like there was nobody that I met after 24 hours that was unaware of what happened on September 11th because it was viral content. Um, when um, when Katrina happened and there was all kinds of storms in New Orleans and the place was washed out, within within several hours, it became viral content. Everybody was aware of it. Tsunamis in Asia and all kinds of problems. We become very aware of it. Right now, we're living in a pandemic, um, COVID-19. So, so that's viral, viral news. But the one thing about viral news is that viral news is oftentimes negative news. Like it's kind of hard to think about something that's viral, that's actually good news. Something that is spreading really quickly, that um, when you sit down and think about it, that's actually um, a good thing. It's usually something that's negative. But when these shepherds saw these angels, 
it's one of the few examples in history where good news becomes viral. When they when they discovered who Jesus was and they and they discovered that this Christ was coming and he was in a manger, the shepherds wanted to go to everybody and to tell everybody about it. And that's one thing about the gospel that I think in the 21st century sometimes that we lose is that it's such good news that it's viral news. That people who are suffering really, really deeply, they're looking for Jesus. 